Let's have a quick look back at some of the highlights of that session. The cars getting themselves out on track. And one or two, like Fred Vervich, uh, throwing everything at it as he rode over the kerb. Another driver in a big, Matt, big hurry, Jules Gounon. And the Bentley's being able to uh, ring every last tenth out of this. Jules Gounon's car number seven being second. The sister car of Alex Bunker, eighth. Number 12 Porsche, though, fighting for the championship a long way down. And off the road early on was uh, Martin Lechman, who got it all crossed up coming out of the Crocodiles. And around he went, thankfully avoiding anything solid. But uh, with Bradle on the road, a red flag was thrown. The car to beat all session, the Honda in the hands of Renga van der Zander, of Bertrand Baguette, and Mario Farnbacher that did the top time very early on indeed, and that car was never really headed through the session. How it's going to pan out come qualifying, we will have to wait and see, but right now that's looking very strong. Kevin Est was looking very spectacular, as ever. He had this wild moment coming out of the Crocodiles, yeah. and uh, then he had another one down at uh, turn two, going into Crowthorne, around he went, dropped the rear wheels into the gravel, and that brought out the red flag cars did get themselves some more mileage once more but it didn't really shuffle the order too much still with the Honda ahead of the two Bentleys at the pointy end of the grid as we look forward then now to qualifying and we'll see you for that a little bit later on today but for now from Continental GT Challenge goodbye